Hello, and welcome to Textile Technical Insights. Let's discuss something interesting. Antimicrobial finish on textile products. We will discuss below things today. What are microbes? Effective growth of microbes on fibers. Mechanism of antimicrobial finish. Antimicrobial agents. Usage of antimicrobial textiles. And finally test methods to assess effectiveness of antimicrobial treatment. Microorganisms are present everywhere. They are part of our day-to-day -day lives. There are thousands of species of microorganisms exist in the environment including our bodies. The human body contains trillions of microorganisms outnumbering the human cells in the body. Clothing and textile materials are good carrier of microorganisms. Textiles and apparels are also good medium for growth of microorganisms. What are microorganisms? Microbes are the minuscule creatures invisible to naked eye. They are broadly divided into six categories. Bacteria, fungus, viruses, algae, protozoa, archaea. Most trouble causing microbes for textiles are bacteria and fungi. Ideal condition for microbial growth. Inherent properties of textile fibers. Structure of the fibers. Warm and humid environment like Indian subcontinent. Human sweat. Private parts of human body which are always covered. Garments which are worn next to skin. Effective growth of microbes on natural fibers like cotton. Natural textiles attacked by microbes easily. Cotton is more likely to be attacked by fungi. They have coarse hydrophilic structure, which retains water, oxygen and nutrients. They provide perfect de environment for bacterial growth. Exponential growth of fungi can lead to rotting, breakdown of fibers and loss of strength of fabrics. Hydrolysis of cellulosic fibers are caused by fungi leads to loss of textiles functional properties. Grown formed mold fungi is mildew. Mildew may discolor, stain the fabric, as many microfungi are capable of producing pigments. Effective growth of microbes on protein fibers like wool and silk. Animal fibers are more resistant to mildew growth than plant fibers. Wool is more likely to be attacked by bacteria. There is less chance of attack on degummed silk. Wool when stored under adverse condition will eventually rot by many microfungi and bacteria. Effective growth of microbes on regenerated cellulosic fibers. Viscose rayon. Modal. Keypermonium rayon are easily attacked by fungi and bacteria. Chances of attack on acetate and triacetate are less by microbes. But color of acetate and triacetate may fade if not stored properly. Effective growth of microbes on synthetic fibers. Fibers made from synthetic polymers like acrylic, polyester, nylon are hydrophobic in nature. They don't support microbial growth at all. However, surface growth of microbes may happen. It will not affect strength of the fabric. But staining and discoloration may happen. Exception, polyurethane fibers and coatings can be damaged by fungi. Bacteria causes some fiber damage. Unpleasant odors. Unpleasant feel. Bacteria do damage the fibers but it is very less when compared to damage done by fungi. Fungi causes loss of performance properties of fabric. Discoloration. Staining of fabric. Rotting. Often fungi and bacteria are present on fabric in a symbiotic relationship. Antimicrobials on textiles. Antimicrobials doesn't allow exponential growth of microbes on textile surface. Fabrics and garments are treated with antimicrobial agents to get desired antimicrobial properties. Mechanism of antimicrobial finish. Controlled discharge mechanism. Bound antimicrobial mechanism. Controlled discharge mechanism. There is a deposition of chemicals on the fabric surface. This acts as a reservoir. 
chemical is discharged from its reservoir bit by bit on the fabric surface continuously. Its effectiveness reduces slowly with the depletion of reservoir. Once the reservoir is finished, treated fabric converts to a normal fabric. It is effective against microbes on the fabric surface and surroundings. It has poor washing durability. When worn next to skin, they can cross skin's outer protective layer to cause rashes or irritation. Bound Antimicrobial Mechanism Antimicrobial molecules are chemically bonded to the fabric surface. They can only kill the microbes that come in contact with the fabric surface. Effectivity of this mechanism doesn't diminish over time. It has good washing durability. This is used on the textiles that are worn next to skin. We can expect durability from such treatments. How an antimicrobial treated fabric should behave. It must be durable to washing, dry cleaning and ironing. It must be safe for manufacturer, user and environment. It must not degrade the fabric strength properties. It must have fastness properties to body secretions. It must have excellent color fastness properties. Some of the antimicrobial agents. Tributylton oxide TBTO, it works on the basis of controlled discharge mechanism. It is both antibacterial and antifungal. But it has durability problems. Triclosan, it works on the basis of controlled discharge mechanism. It has excellent antibacterial properties but poor antifungal properties. Polyhexamethylene biguanide, it works on the basis of bound antimicrobial mechanism. It is an effective antimicrobial. It has excellent antibacterial and antifungal properties. Chitocin, it works on the basis of bound antimicrobial mechanism. It is non-toxic. It is non-allergic. It is also biodegradable. It is natural antimicrobial agent. It shows both antibacterial and antifungal properties. Usage of antimicrobial textiles. Defense textiles. Soldier uniforms. Geotextiles are all finished using antimicrobial agents. Now these are extended to medical textile. Healthcare personnel uniforms and sportswear. Antimicrobial textiles are needed in footwear industry. Clothing textiles and automotive industries. Test methods to assess effectiveness of antimicrobial treatment. AATCC 147 Antibacterial Assessment of Textile Materials. Parallel Streak Method. AATCC 100 Antibacterial Finishes on Textile Materials. Assessment of ISO 20645 Textile Fabrics Determination of Antibacterial Activity, Agar Diffusion Plate Test. JISL 1902 Testing Antibacterial Activity and Efficacy on Textile Products. AATCC 30 Antifungal Activity. Assessment on Textile Materials. Mildew and Rot Resistance of Textile Materials. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe to my channel.